across. I give you the time to take a walk around, to go inside to take a photo later. Uh, you remember I mentioned I mentioned the bus. The name of this pagoda is Chen Kuo. You remember that? Chen Kuo is the name of this one. Chen T R A N Kuo Q U O C. Chen means protect. Kuo means the country. Chen Kuo means pagoda protect the country in the past. One invader tried to occupy Vietnam. You know this pagoda is the eldest pagoda in Hanoi. Not in Vietnam, in Hanoi only. Original construction of this pagoda was built in 6th century by a Vietnamese king. But original building was built beside the river, about one kilometer from here. That building was rejoiced by the tide from the river. And the building here was rebuilt here in 17th century. And now that you see pagodas located beside the lake, very big one in the city. You remember I mentioned before the little lake on the left hand side of the bus. This is where John McCain was shot down, you remember that. Here is another one. In Hanoi there are over 20 lakes. All of them are the natural. John have any man made lake. And this one, the biggest one in Hanoi. We call the lake here the West Lake because this one located at the west of the city. And this lake about five hundred hectares. The main road around the lake here about 16 kilometers long. Now they want to go to visit Vietnam, you see there are many temples, many pagoda in our country. So a lot of people think Vietnam is a Buddhist country, but not correct. Vietnam is not the Buddhist country. You know, population of Vietnam is the whole country about 99 million people, and but only 5% of us follow Buddhism. 7% follow Christians, but most of Vietnamese people don't follow anything. Let's follow the culture worshipping the ancestor on the family altar. But you see there are many temples, many pagoda in Vietnam. That's why many people they get a misconception like that. Um, the second thing about the temple about pagoda, I want to let you know, even now we never say Buddhist temple. Because even now the temple is not in the Buddhism. This one is pagoda. Later on when you go inside the building of the pagoda here, you see many Buddha statues in there. You see the monk live inside the building of the pagoda here. But when you go to the temple on the tour, we have one temple to visit. We do that in the afternoon. When you go to the temple, they will not see any Buddha statue in there. They will not see the monk inside the temple building in Vietnam. Inside the temple, you just see the human statue. Human statue, I mean the king statue, the queen statue, the national hero statue. Or thus, the saint, the god statue in there. You know, even though the temple belongs to the community of the Vietnamese, belong to the village, belong to the city, for everyone in there. But pagoda like this belong to the Buddhism, only for the Buddhists. But temple belong to the culture, so for everyone in Vietnam. But outside, they look very similar. That's why many people, they get the misconception about them like that. Uh, the next one I want to show you right here, please take a look at that. On the top of the building, uh, that one is the name of the pagoda written in Chinese. Anyone here can speak Chinese? Thank you. <laughs> um, when you go to the temple, when you go to pagoda, you see many Chinese letters. The reason why you see Chinese letter like that, because in the temple, in the pagoda in Vietnam, we decorate the temple, we decorate pagoda with the Chinese slogan. But in Vietnam, nowadays, we don't use the Chinese. You know, before 17th century, we use Chinese like that. You know, before 17th century, in Vietnam, we did not have running system language. We could speak, but we could not write out what we spoke before that. So before 17th century, we borrow Chinese. We use them like running system in Western Vietnam, but they are not 100% Chinese. We change some character from Chinese to become that one. We call that one the Sino Chinese. Uh, but nowadays, even now, we have a running system in Western in the Roman type of that letter, A, B, C, D, E. Similar, my name is the Ice from the Mosque. And similar, this one you see at the bottom of the tree there. Because in 17th century, two Western missionaries, they came to Asia from Hugo because they wanted to bring the Western culture to Asia. When they came to Vietnam, they sort of spoke Chinese. They did create the new language in Vietnam with the international internet letter like that. We start using this language since 18th century. Um, but in the temple, in the pagoda, we keep Chinese because I mentioned before, we decorate the temple, we decorate pagoda with the Chinese slogan, Chinese poem. If you know Chinese language, you will know inside one Chinese word have many meaning inside. Inside one Chinese slogan like that, have many deep meaning inside also. If we translate them into the Western language, we cannot translate all the meaning they have. We can lose some good meaning. So we want to give them in the original Chinese like that because we want to protect them in the original meaning they have. That's why you see them when you go to visit here. But even them, special thing, nobody understand them. Only the monk who live inside the order, 
they can write out Chinese, they can read Chinese. Yeah, and some old people, you know, they can do that, but they cannot speak. Uh, the next one I want to show you right here, at the threshold, you see on the ground there, they have one little step. Every temple, every pagoda, even when they go inside the building, we have to step over a little step right now. Because when you're doing that, you need to bow down the knees to make the head down like this. We may have to show the respect. Show this stuff to the Buddha, show this stuff to someone who put the gosh in the temple in our country. That's why we have one step at the window on this ground like that. And now they get a Vietnamese people, we go to the temple, we go to go the twice per month. We use a full moon calendar for that. In the solar calendar, today is the 22nd of the April, right? But in the Vietnamese calendar, today is the 3rd, the 3rd of March. So when the people get here, they try to bring the offering with them. Offering like the the food, sticky rice, the rice cake, banana, apple, beer, water, coffee. People offer the Buddha the offering, offer someone who they worship in the temple the offering like that. Because even though we believe in karma, we believe if we are easy people with either one, the life will easy back for you. When you give someone the help, you get the help back. When you give the something you have, you have something back, even more than you give before. That's why the people try to offer the offering like that. And that's why you see Vietnamese people look so friendly like that. And because we believe if we are easy, the life will be easy for us. And sometimes the offering is not only the food like that. Sometimes the offering like the little animal. At the main gate, when he came in here, did you see some vendor? They said the little fish, little turtle, little bird. And we would buy them from the vendor there. Up to play something with them. With the bird, they release the bird into the air. Fish, turtle into the water. Because they believe when they shop for animal to get freedom, they get the same thing back in the future also. And Buddhism came to Vietnam very early in the first century and from China and from India. When you get here, you see pagoda here look very similar to Chinese pagoda about architecture, about the construction. But when you go to somewhere in the down south, like Ho Chi Minh City, anyone have been? Someone been there, someone not, right? You see pagoda there look very similar to Indian pagoda about architecture. I mentioned before the monk live inside pagoda. The monk live inside pagoda here whole year for life until they pass away. They pass away inside pagoda in Vietnam. And when the monk pass away, the people cremate. Inside here, the people cremate the body of the monk. After cremation, they build the little stupa, you know, stupa, the tower, to keep the ashes remain of the body in there. So inside this pagoda, we do it with the monk body. And I will take you to stupa kind of later. Now you can go inside the building here to take a look something in there first. But when you go inside there, please tell me leave your shoes outside. We sh should not take a picture of the Buddha statue.
Yeah.